Scouts Week in Trinidad and Tobago, and it's happening right now. It's We're in basically the middle of it. And to tell us more about it, and I'm sure you're going to recognize, and I was so hoping that he was actually going to come in his Scouts uniform. I actually had thoughts of what it might look like. And he is Ivan Mendoza, who is the Marketing and Communications Advisor of the Scouts of Trinidad and Tobago, and also Damien Clark, who is the chairman of the National Youth Council. Good morning, gentlemen, and welcome. Good morning, and thanks so much for having us. Of course, must. I mean, Scouts. Scouts is a big thing in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes. How long has it been in existence? Well, Scouting as a worldwide movement started in 1907, um, and it came to Trinidad in 1912. So we're actually this year celebrating our 105th anniversary, uh, which we actually marked on the 4th of January. Okay. So we're celebrating 105 years, and this year we have a theme for our 105th anniversary, which is Scouting, Strong Leaders, Strong Values. Mm. So this year we decided for Founders Day, which was on February 22nd, that's the birthday of the founder of Scouting, Lord Robert Baden-Powell. Um, every year we usually celebrate Founders Day, but for this year we decided to have a whole week of celebration of Scouting and all the wonderful work we've been doing to you know, raise, raise young people in Trinidad and Tobago to become active citizens and positive citizens. So exactly what's going to be taking place for the week? Well, so far we had on, on Saturday, which was the first day of the week, um, we had the Carnival Extravaganza, which is a little competition. We had um, costumes and calypso competitions um, at the Scout headquarters. Um, during the week, Scout groups in their districts will be taking part in different activities. We'll have camps, we'll have church services, parades, um, investiture ceremonies. Um, just to commemorate scouting and it's really just an opportunity for us to showcase ourselves in our districts to, to the community and show the work that we've been doing. I like that you've actually, simply because it's, has it fallen um, around carnival time as well um, in the past? Because I like how you're mixing the carnival into the activities. Yeah, we usually have, we usually have that celebration um, because it's only February 22nd. Yeah, it does tend to fall somewhere around the carnival season, um, which is somewhat difficult to engage the public at times. Um, we actually were planning to do a media launch for our invested investment in character program, which is a campaign to basically involve the private sector and the business community in scouting and see different ways they can contribute to, to what we're trying to do and achieve at the national level, which again is to, to just um, raise young people and get them from early to you know, develop character traits. Um, on Saturday coming, we have a, a teaching character traits workshop mm -hmm which is open for our volunteers and adult leaders because, of course, training is a big part of what we yeah. do and we're dealing with young people, which is a sensitive topic for the parents. So we want to make sure that we teach the skills um, in interacting with young people so that our leaders are well equipped to do so. And, you know, we, we have to bring up better young men these days, so that's a good start. We yes. need to teach them the proper yes. way. And, you know, a lot of focus is on what we do after the fact, mm -hmm. but not on what we do before. You know, they become involved in criminal, or exposed to the criminal element. So we try to good. capture them before and teach that character, character right. skills. Now, as we talk about the young people, we've got the chairman of the National Youth Council, Damien Clark. Damien, how did you get into the Scouts? Um, I actually joined Scouting in uh, St. Mary's College in Palm 1. Um, that was back in 2009. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. It's kind of something that my parents just kind of pushed me towards. But I never thought I'd get these opportunities and these experiences because one of the teaching methods that scouting implements is creating opportunities. So it's not a forceful thing. So it creates a lot of opportunities for adventure, a lot of opportunities for developing yourself as a leader. And uh, young people uh, usually like kids nowadays, you know, they see all these superheroes, they see Hulk, they see Spider-Man, they see Batman. They want to become those, those superheroes. And what scouting does is that it manifests that innate desire for leadership, that innate desire for helping people. And that's one thing I really like about the scouting movements. It helps with character building. Okay. Now, um, how do you think it's difficult to get young people involved? I mean, this is traditionally uh, a male venture, scouting is male. Yeah. Um, do you find it difficult to encourage people, the younger ones, to get into it? Or as you said, you know, your parents basically yeah. pushed you into that. So is it a choice that's made by children or is it that the parents basically say, look, this is what I need to do because it's going to lead you down a good path? Well, what is it like? There's a lot of both. And we do have girls all across the movement. So um, oh, our do? program starts yeah. from seven 
which are the Cub Scout level, then it goes to Scouts at Cub 15 Scout. year old and then Venture Scouts from uh, 16 to 19. So you do have boys and girls across the movement and you do find a mix of par parental influence and choice. Yeah. So actually for Scout Week, we are actually launching our new programs, our updated programs up all across the sections. Um, and that is how we try to actually get more people to choose to become a scout. And there's more opportunities for adventure, more opportunities for, for growth. Um, so we've updated our programs at all levels and, and, and increased the level of excitement so that once we put things out there and children see what we're doing, they'll actually want to get more involved. And you know something that um, Damien mentioned is that he started at St. Mary's and I find a lot of it comes from the schools. It starts in the schools, basically. Yeah, a lot, a lot of the groups are, are based at schools. We also do have community groups as well, which we're trying to expand on both sides. So we're trying to expand the number of groups in schools to make it actually hopefully in all secondary schools across the country. Um, and we have a lot of community groups popping, on, popping up as well. I remember when I was in school, um, well, it was more brownies. It was brownies for us when we were in school, in, in primary school. Yeah. And then, um, well, when I started, it was actually Red Cross. I kind of, you know, switched across to Red Cross. Okay. But scouts, like, you know, mm -hmm. I said, you know, is traditionally, we've, we tend to hear more the male schools going along with the scouts. Mm -hmm. But the training that is done there, I mean, you learn so many life skills when yeah. you're in the scouts. You know, a lot of things you learn, you don't realize you're learning any, any process of learning um, until afterwards. I, I for example, um, would have seen, looking back, what, what the different experiences taught me um, and how it impacted my life now as an adult. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really an integral part of our training is just how we achieve what we achieve. So we use the camps and the outdoor experiences, but it's all about character development at the end of the day. Um, and uh, as the worldwide vision says, you know, to create a better world. Mm -hmm. And we hope to do so with Scout and Tobago. And we hope to encourage young people to get involved and, and show how we can be, become better for a country. You know, we believe one person, one young person at a time, we can change this mm -hmm. country. Damien, how has it shaped you as a young man? How would you say? Um, I would say that it helped me learn a lot of things that I would learn in the classroom. Uh, and that's one thing. So I developed a lot of leadership skills, management. Um, one premise that scouting is kind of based on, it's like, give a man power and you see through true character. So they put you in these leadership positions at young ages and that development, while they guide you, it, it helps shape you as an individual, as an active citizen within society, not only locally, but as a global mm -hmm. citizen, being aware of all the social issues and wanting to combat those issues with community involvement. Okay. Ivan, and quickly, how can one join the Scouts? Um, well, you could just go on our website. We have the information there, scouts.tt. And I want to invite the whole country to come out on Saturday, March 11th. We'll be having a national rally there in commemoration of the 105th anniversary. Where is this taking place? This is taking place in San Fernando. So we'll be having a church service at the Susamacha uh, Presbyterian okay. Church and marching to Naparima College Grounds where we'll be having a lot of activities. So if the community and the um, past and present scouts could come out to support this venture, we're definitely celebrating strong leaders and strong values. Oh gosh, I love it. I love the scouts. Thank you all so much for being here, Ivan Mendoza yeah, and Damien Clark. And join it. You know how to get involved. Get your young people involved, boys and girls alike. Good morning.